Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing the weekend forecast for today's second video. So as was on a Saturday, we're having a look at the weather for the week ahead. And uh, it's going to be quite a coldish week to come, especially to start off with. The temperature will recover a little bit as we go into next week. We are watching out for the possibility of a really cold Arctic blast in around a week's time. There's a lot of uncertainty about that uh, at the moment. And uh, in the last few hours, I'm also backed away a little bit from that idea. But the possibility is still very well. So we need to keep a close eye on it. More about that as we get to the end of the weekend broadcast. Uh, just to say that uh, Snow Watch has been uh, released. So there is going to be some wintry showers around um, this afternoon, this evening, overnight and into tomorrow. We'll look at that a little bit in weekend forecast as well, uh, of course. But an in-depth view of winter showers um, via Snow Watch has been uh, released already. That's the first video today, and that's the reason weekend forecast is a bit later than normal. And uh, also a little bit wet later than normal, um, probably late this afternoon, will be the regular week's 10-day video update with all of the usual features. So that will be coming up for you uh, this evening. Or late afternoon, anyway. Right, the websites we're using for the weekend forecast are coming from theweatheroutlook.com, wetterscentral.d, and the radar picture from Gazworthy. So we're going to start with that. Uh, so we have had showers in the northeast through uh, this morning. Uh, so across the eastern parts of Scotland, there's been some winchiness in most showers, a few coming down to northeast England, mainly rain still there, and a few coming into. Um, Central parts of Northern England too. Most places, though, have been dry uh, through the course of uh, today. You'll be wanting to see lots and lots of dry weather there across many parts of the country. And the reason for that is got very high pressure just out to our northwest, up to 1,050 millibars, a very intense area of high pressure sitting in the North Atlantic. Now, coming around this high pressure, we've got these increasingly strong and cold northeasterly winds. So um, those northeast winds are digging in properly cold air from uh, northern Europe, and uh, we will see the temperature beginning to or continue to fall away through the rest of today and into tonight. And these northeast winds are also bringing those showers with them. So uh, for the rest of this afternoon, we're looking up to uh, showers across eastern parts of Scotland. Increasingly wintry there, I think, and snow coming down to low levels across the eastern parts of Scotland by the end of the afternoon. Some showers pushing into northeastern parts of England as well, probably turning increasingly wintry as the afternoon uh, progresses. Other east areas having scattered rain showers. Many central western areas staying mostly dry. These northeast winds are bringing a lot of cloud with them, especially in east areas. The, the best of any brighter sunny spells you'd like to be in the west and the southwest. That's where the highest temperatures will be this afternoon, up to around um, 12 Celsius, which is 54 Fahrenheit. But through many northern and northeast parts, it's actually a cold day uh, with temperatures only around 5 or 6 degrees. And add on that wind, it will feel even colder than that. Overnight tonight, again, we've got this intense area of high pressure just to west of Scotland, 1,050 millibars, bringing in those northeast winds around the uh, eastern side of the high pressure. It means that we'll have further winter showers across eastern parts of Scotland, northeast England through the early part of night, snow coming down to low levels uh, there. I think as the night progresses, these showers will probably tend to pull back towards the east coast um, for a time. So showers just pepper the east coast for a while uh, overnight. But by the end of the night, we may start to see the showers pepping up across parts of Lincolnshire down towards East Anglia, possibly into northeastern parts of the Midlands. And again, they are likely to be wintry with snow potentially coming to quite low levels um, in those areas. Most central, western and northwest areas mainly dry. Light winds in the north close to this area of high pressure will mean that parts of Scotland has a very cold night tonight. Scottish glens could go down to minus 8 degrees, which is very cold indeed for um, the end of March. Most other areas will be perilously close to freezing. So even in the southeast, we've got this strong northeast wind temperatures will be getting very close to freezing uh, and uh, of course add on the wind it will feel even colder than that into Sunday, the high pressure sticks to our west northwest. We're still bringing in these northeasty winds. So, showers probably becoming more confined towards that southeast corner through the course of Sunday. I think we start off with wintry showers and snow to low levels across parts of the East Midlands, Lincolnshire, East Anglia, down towards southeastern parts of England. Those showers probably increasingly retreating 
into that southeast corner through the course of the afternoon. Not everywhere in those areas will get the showers. Even there, the showers will be quite scattered. And um, further north and west, we're going to be looking at bright or sunny spells and variable amounts of cloud. But these northeast winds are bringing quite a lot of cloud with them, especially to east there. So I wouldn't expect all that much sunshine away, probably from the far northwest anyway. Temperatures tomorrow will be colder than today, probably ranging from around uh, 3 to 8 degrees Celsius. And add on the northeast wind, it will feel even colder than that, particularly so in that southeastern corner. When we move through to Monday, and high pressure then is beginning to slip southwards and back in towards the UK. Wind is still coming in from the north to northeast, but the source of the air is uh, not as cold. So I think uh, Monday is probably quite a cloudy and relatively dry day. Just have a lot of cloud moving in with this area of high pressure. The best of the sunny spells close to the ridge out in the west. But even there, I suspect there will be quite a bit of cloud. There could be light rain or drizzle across eastern areas as well. Maybe a little bit of sleep mixed in over higher ground. But the emphasis, because it is high pressure, the emphasis is on a lot of dry weather. Pretty cold as well. Temperatures after perhaps uh, frost are only reaching around 5 to 10 degrees and uh, if it's uh, if we have clear spells on Monday night again there'll be another widespread frost on Monday night. Tuesday the high pressure's in control so a lot of quiet weather to come maybe a little bit more aware of bright or sunny spells coming through on Tuesday of course that has a downside by night if skies are clear there'll be a greater risk of frost so we could have frost early and late on Tuesday but by day probably a little bit more in way of sunshine but still with quite a lot of cloud few light drizzly bits pieces of rain possible in the east but the emphasis is on dry weather and uh, temperatures are going to be rather on the chilly side again ranging from around 6 to 12 degrees celsius that's how we look on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, the high pressure beginning to pull out into the North Atlantic and looks like it's going to have a go at moving up towards Greenland. So this is beginning to start setting up the possibility of that northerly at the end of week. I think there'll be a weather system coming in from the northwest as well. Quite a weak one, but it will bring a cloud and outbreaks of showery rain uh, southeast was across the country. On Wednesday, could be a little bit of hill snow mixed in with that up in the north. Just a rather cloudy, damp day uh, across many parts of the country. But best of any sunshine likely to be in the west and the southwest. Temperatures, again, a bit on the cold side. Uh, 6 to 12 degrees, the best we can expect. And then we're going through into Thursday, and it looks again like that high pressure is going to have a really good go getting itself northwards. And you would look about it and think we're setting up a northerly blast. So Thursday, probably a mainly dry day with more in a way of sunny spells. Showers mostly up in the north and the northwest. Could be a cold front bringing a more persistent area of rain into the northern parts of Scotland by the end of uh, Thursday. But otherwise, a lot of dry weather on offer. A little bit more away of sunshine too. Temperatures a bit higher as well I think on Thursday. So we may uh, get up to around 8 degrees in the north. And in the south possibly up to around 14. 14 is 57 Fahrenheit. About average for early April. So that northerly that looked like it was setting up doesn't quite come off on this GFS run. And the reason is that this high pressure doesn't go far enough north. It just sticks west of, Bay of, of the Bay of Biscay. And it means that the northerly plunge is dropping down into Scandinavia. However, this is very, very close to pulling down an Arctic blast on Friday and into next weekend. So I think we just say that from Friday to next weekend, the emphasis is still on dry weather. The feel of the weather is... Um, very uncertain at the moment. It could turn really cold with more snow showers in the north, or we could just keep it mainly dry with near normal temperatures. We need to wait a day or two more, I think, to see how things resolve themselves for Friday. Uh, and indeed, into next weekend as well. This GFS run does not pull off those uh, cold northerly winds, but it does get very, very close to doing so. So more about that in the videos over the coming days. Finally, just having a look at the charts weather outlook. So, wintry showers in the northeast day. Otherwise, the emphasis is on mainly dry weather. Tomorrow, we're going to have those uh, wintry showers, maybe some snow showers even across eastern parts of the country, increasingly becoming confined to southeast corner through the day. Lots of dry weather though tomorrow, and it is a cold day too. Cloud and damp, bit, drizzly bits of piece of rain moving in from the east as we go into Monday. Monday does look like quite a cloudy, dreary, damp sort of day, really. Back to drier conditions and perhaps a little bit brighter on Tuesday. 
And those drier, brighter conditions continue into Wednesday and Thursday. And then we end the week on Friday. Just seem to have lifting up a little bit in the south. But if we start to pull, pull in those cold, northerly winds, then we will get another Arctic blast. Um at the end of the week and into next weekend. More about that in future videos. Right, in summary then, so we're looking at a lot of dry weather. High pressure's in control this week, but its position means that it is going to be a rather cold week, especially to start off with cold northeast winds and wintry showers in the east. Those wintry showers ease off, and the emphasis is on dry weather as we go into uh, next week, really. Um, but staying pretty chilly, temperatures gradually recovering a little bit, especially by day. Still quite cold by night, perhaps a bit milder towards the back end of next week. But we are watching out for the chance of those Arctic Norvalis to descend in around a week's time. Uh, right, so that's it for your weekend forecast. We'll be back later on with your week to 10 day video update, uh, including all of the regular features. So come back for that then. And uh, that's all for now, though. Thanks for watching.